So without any further uh, ado, uh, I'm Tom Lommel. Uh, I'm also the Dungeon Bastard. Uh, I am going to be playing Doc Holiday tonight. This game is set in the 1920s. Um, let's go around the table and introduce ourselves. Let's start, go this yeah. way. I'm Amy Vorpal. You can also call me Vorpal Sword. Um, and I am playing. I am playing Thera Mathis Way, and she's a uh, she's a Bible saleswoman. And um, and also, guess who I am? But guess who my Halloween costume? Wait, are you are you Thing One? Are you one of the? Are you, are, you a doc, are you a Dr. Seuss character? Are you character? kidding? No, is That's it? what I thought. Really? I, I, mean, I honestly... Oh my god, hold on. Having, check having, it. Check it out. Oh. This is a very specific pattern. Well, the hair's pattern. right, but for the thing thing... No, no! This is wrong. Get, no, Do you want no. to know what I honestly thought you were? I thought you were Jem, and I don't really <laughs> know what Jem is. <laughs> from Jem and the Hologram. Yeah, yeah, from that thing, yes. which I also <laughs> oh haven't seen. So I was like, I haven't seen Jem and the Holograms, but I think that's what she is. No, everyone told me, everyone told me since like this summer that I had to be this character for Halloween, so I didn't have that much of a choice but to listen to everybody. But Tyler, let me know if they know who I am. Uh, Does Jim has colored hair though, up. right? I don't know who that is. From Jam and the Holograms? From the 80s cartoon? Oh, no. Like I, I was in Malaysia. <laughs> I you I were still I allowed know. to consume American mm. media during that time. No, really? Your parents we, said no. Well, we couldn't get it. Like, oh, all wow. we got was, ni was oh, that's um, true. Back Ninja Turtles. Back then, there Turtles. was no internet. All right. Yeah. So okay, you right. are. Yep. Ferris Mathis Way. And no, I'll you are what character? Oh, I'm Joy from Pixar. Joy from Inside Out. Inside Joy out. from Pixar. Uh, <laughs> Joy God. from Pixar. She but works in like, HR. No, <laughs> she no works shit. In HR. No She's shit. She's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh, so moving on, sitting Same in one. in the place of GM Mace McDaniel's tonight is Wes asshole. Otis from Plate <laughs> Mail Games. Uh, Wes. I didn't even hear what you said. I said you're a fucking asshole. I am. <laughs> yeah. Damn. How long have you been playing Call of Cthulhu number one? And number two, what is Plate Mail Games? Um, number one, I've been playing Call of Cthulhu for... A long time? <laughs> I about, 20 years, about 20 years. About 20 years. And uh, Plate Mail Games uh, is a company I launched three years ago. We do uh, sound effects for role-playing games like this where... Uh, if you're in a bar, you can play a, a bar background, or if you're in a dungeon, you can play a dungeon background, or right now I'm playing a ballroom background. We do all genres, and that's about it. All right, awesome. So, on to you. I'm Chris Greenwood. I'm, uh, I'm playing Aloysius Big Al Lombardo. He is a gangster. He's 5'3", but he's Big Al. It's another place. Is he big around? No, no, he's, he's just big of personality. He's big of personality, okay. and it's, it's like an ironic nickname, you know? Right, like, like, uh, exactly. Little, it's like how you, how you call like a huge guy tiny. Yeah, exactly. He's big out. Yeah, that's cool. Um, hi, I'm Sean Graham, and I am playing Ernest Hemingway. <laughs> He's like talking to you. <laughs> no, I'm talking to that the fucking whatever that You were looking right at Tom. The garbage people. I did look at you and the camera. Yeah. Um, I delivered to the camera. Uh, hi. Kind of. Um, yeah, so garbage people. I am playing Ernest Hemingway tonight. Um, it's gonna be, I think, a little. Uh, I think it's gonna be a darker version of Ernest Hemingway. Um, oh, geez. So we'll see how that nice. goes. Great. Ernest right. Hemingway, notably very optimistic normally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, a real ray of sunshine. Yeah. Right. All right. Without any further ado, let's dive into Call of Cthulhu. Cthulhu. So you guys Cthulhu. have been sailing for three days. To give some background, <coughs> um, uh, a famous German psychologist named Dr. Ziff has started these cruises. Now, he claims that from L.A. to Shanghai and back, he can cure most mental illnesses. Um, but the belief is, is that he actually takes on richer clients that are really not all that sick um, and takes their money and gives them a place to relax for a uh, few months. Um, the cruises have been going on for a few months. Uh, there's been uh, five or six over the last year. Um, he also has wellness centers um, all over the world. Uh, the group here uh, sits at the same table every night for dinner, for most meals, so they've gotten to know each other over the last three days. Um, it is nighttime, uh, the band is, is playing, there are people eating, um, and you guys are 
at your normal table. Um, you have uh, the other p two people at your table are Mark and Rose Hathaway. Mark and oh, Rose. Oh my God, another, okay. Ernest Hemingway, Doc Holliday, Holiday. Theris, Theris Mathis Way, and uh, the Hemingways. Hathaways. 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 <laughs> <laughs> So that's crazy. Uh, and the Lombardo and Lombardo. They're an older couple. They're uh, the only reason that they're on this ship, as you can see, they don't really have any issues, but um, they really wanted to go to Shanghai. And this was the easiest, best, earliest way to do it yeah. Yeah. Um, for uh, their vacation. Um, and uh, they're they're nice uh, people. So what I'd <laughs> like to do really quickly is um, uh, get your impressions of each other just to kind of have a, an idea of uh, how you guys are getting along and um, basically it's an yes exactly basically there's a uh, um, that way there's kind of a, a bond between you guys you guys know each other a little better so uh, maybe give uh, personality or, mm. or how you've been over the last three days okay um, uh, so so I'm Cyrus uh, Mathisway. What am I doing? I don't know. <laughs> I was like, I was like trying to be Catherine, accent, Catherine please. Hepburn. Uh, there it is, Catherine Hepburn. Um, so Big Al, I think, is the natural leader of our group. I think he's got a lot of charisma and uh, will go somewhere in life and has big plans. Um, Doc Holloway is a taker. He just is a taker, taker, taker. You said Holloway. What did I say? Oh, Doc Holliday. He's you're a taker. You're not a giver. To be more of a giver. <laughs> and then Ernest Hem Hemingway, I'm a Give me something to give. <clears throat> no, that's called taking, sir. <laughs> You're just proving my point. <laughs> <laughs> give me something I don't want, <clears throat> and you can have it back. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right. <laughs> Well, that, I'm 77 years old, <laughs> goddammit. I don't have to put up with this crap. No, I'm not I like this guy. Yeah, See, he's, he's got right. spunk. Great. And then Anna Hemingway, I, uh, he, I don't think he thinks I'm fit for, for my job. I, I am a little defensive of you. That's I've fair. I've got something to prove to you. That's fair. Um, <clears throat> uh, I, <clears throat> I actually appreciate uh, Theris's stubbornness um, and and way of approaching the world a world that does not agree with her viewpoint or you know where she comes from and is generally hostile to her entire profession so I, I appreciate and respect that uh, Doc Holliday is somebody who forged ahead despite pressures on top of him uh, telling him who you know he wasn't supposed to be so I appreciate that independence and that frontier spirit and then uh, Big Al is 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 you like people who fight against adversity, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, Big Al is, is living in a world where uh, oh the, the government won't allow him to, to now, succeed. Exactly. I'm just really quick to, have you told them that you're a gangster? Because oh. that does uh, not I guess, necessarily... Yeah. If no, I, would, I probably okay. would. I mean, so what, what, would you, what have you told me about yourself? Um, that's like a coke addict. Yeah, that's, like, you know, no, I don't have a problem. Yeah, at all. no, no. I've, uh, <laughs> well, I've, if you have that voice, I'm immediately suspicious. Right. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. See, no, so I'm not talking. No, so I don't like, know what you're talking about. With no, I've never been in trouble with the law. See, it's, uh, I'm a law-abiding citizen, fine, upstanding young man. Yes. He's so through a, those he's the so through those conversations that I've had with Big Al, I do not respect Big Al. <laughs> he's oh, okay. he's clearly not being upfront with his uh, with his business his, his intentions. I wouldn't be upset if he were a criminal. I'm fine with that. In fact, criminality is something that's necessary sometimes. But I don't. I, the fact that he won't admit it upsets me. <laughs> I can't just you don't just go around broadcasting the fact that you. Uh, well, you ought to. You've never, you've obviously never been in organized crime, my friend. <laughs> that is true. I have not been in organized crime either. <laughs> <laughs> I've been near a lot of organized crime, and then I punched it in the face. <clears throat> Do no, Doc, uh, was that really organized? <laughs> if you're just way riding I up to a it. stagecoach, that's not really all that organized. Listen. I sometimes what there's done. what you plan to do, and then there's sometimes there's just what happens. Oh, I'm the victim of that. I know about that. <laughs> now, do so they like, know about your problem? Uh, I think everyone knows, yeah. That I, you just I don't, broadcast it. Yeah, I just don't care. Like, uh, look, I'm having this baby, and, and you know, it was, it was a hot, passionate one-night stand, and, and that's all right with me. You know what? I take my lot in life, and I, and I 
I take it. I don't need to be judged for it, though. That's why I'm here. I'm not judging you. I got pregnant. (laughs) 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 Well, I'll tell you this. The man should have, you know, should have married you. I can't believe you didn't do that. You can't make someone do something they don't want to do. Yes, you absolutely can. Yeah, (laughs) you can do that. Yeah, Yeah, I I would disagree 100%. I I, I definitely, uh, (laughs) yeah, I'm going to side with these two guys. If a woman woman gets pregnant, you have to marry her. That's just the way it goes. Oh, interesting. Oh, that wasn't, oh. That that wasn't, wasn't yeah, the point yeah. that I was saying. Oh. I was agreeing with the whole thing about making people do things they don't want to do. Yeah, I've definitely made some people do the things that they don't want to do. Um, right. Yeah, so my name is Doc Holliday. People have written about me. Um, I've got the consumption. I don't know if you're aware of this. Uh, you know, <laughs> in another timeline, I might have died some 30 or 40 years ago. <laughs> I'm, I've been holding on, but I heard about this cruise for your health, and this is sort of my last chance to really uh, finally uh, cure myself. Isn't it contagious? I'm a uh, pregnant lady. I'm a pregnant lady. No, it's it's fine. I mean, you're not. we're not sharing meals, are we? Are you going to finish that? <laughs> <laughs> it's okay if I eat off. Okay. Look, germs haven't even been discovered yet. <laughs> yeah, it's fine. No, uh, I, at, at this I point, cough at this into point a in rag. time, I will say that the standard diagnosis for consumption is to go down into a, a warm, dry climate. Yes. So maybe the ocean isn't the best option. <laughs> You know, it's the fresh sea air. Uh, I feel like maybe you just have a little bit of consumption. <laughs> just it's a, no, I've got it bad. Full blown consumption. If, I'm gonna oh that's, that's I'm gonna the, die sometime <laughs> in the next two to nine weeks. So the specific diagnosis <laughs> diagnosis was full blown. A full blown night. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so I don't know about uh, Ernie here. You know, I don't feel like writing is a noble profession. I I've agree. seen what people have written about <laughs> me, and it was never very truthful or accurate. So uh, I agree. Uh, I mean, if you want to tell fanciful tales, that's your business. Uh, I have never wanted to tell fanciful tales. Ernie's probably one of the most tenaciously uh, depressing people I've ever met. <laughs> and I've lived 77 years and lived through the Civil lot. War. I've lived through a lot of shit. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you just keep on living and living and living. This Big Al, I, I don't know. He says he's not much of a big deal, but he sure spends his money freely. That's a, a little curious, if you ask me. Oh, and he's just a natural leader. Guy likes the finer things in life. What's wrong with that? Uh, well, and then, uh, you know, I don't know about uh, Maris Day here. Uh, uh, oh, Mar- yeah, Maris. M- Mathisway? Mathisway? Maris Mathisway. Lot of, yep, lots of the when same I was growing up, we named girls Clara <laughs> and Beth <laughs> and uh, Mary, not not Ferris. not not Samantha's way. <laughs> so I'm Guys, not do sure. You think you're a Samantha's I'm way? Not sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not. I'm not sure about way. the youth of today. I'm certainly not sure about any Bible salespeople, and I'm I'm definitely not sure about an unmarried woman. That's carrying a little traveling companion. <clears throat> well, there's nothing to be sure about. I am who I am, and I'm leading my own life. And no, no, no man can stop me. No man can stop me. Mary, Mary Hallow Hathaway. Mary Hathaway knows all about that, doesn't she? Mary. Mrs. Yes. Hathaway. Yes. <laughs> How old is Rose. Mrs. Hathaway Rose. again? She's, she's 79 years old. She's two years older than me. Is she oh, Rose? Rose? I bet Rose we have Hathaway. some stories. Rose, 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 Rose hasn't said much about Rose, your pregnancy. Rose got my back. She's Rose, got my back. Rose, uh, Rose hasn't said much about your uh, pregnancy, but she is interested in maybe seeing your Bible. So um, That's where I'm, it all started. It's all, <laughs> yeah, the, the Bible sales is, is bad. Uh, that just r- le- led you down a, a road of ruin in Rose's eyes. Hard ones with the hard ones. <laughs> <laughs> um, so Rose, uh, Rose starts talking about, uh, she goes, you know, uh, this is a wonderful cruise and everything, but did, did you guys notice that we seem to be slowly turning uh, off course? Like we we were going on a specific what route. You got, you got a compass over there or what? No, yeah. it's just I can feel it. Look, you put me on you a horse, the... I can tell you which way we're going. You put me on a ship, I just like to take a nap. <clears throat> well, I can't even look over the side without puking, so I've just been... What wow. makes you think we're going off course? I don't know. It just uh, we started uh, we started out going one way towards Hawaii. Now we've been to Hawaii several times, and I'm used to that being a very specific 
route. I heard it's all just volcanoes and natives out there. Uh, I will say, here's what our Lord and Savior will have to say about that. Cane sugar. Cane That's sugar. Lots of cane <laughs> sugar. That's what I know about yeah. Hawaii. Well, I just want you to know, be who God wants you to be, not what others want to see. That's okay, I'll remember that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you just pulling random verses out of your Bible there? Look, I, I have a lot of Bibles. I gotta say, I'm real concerned about that, about that passage in particular because that is not a passage. Um, is it not? I don't think so. Well, <laughs> right here in my little Pretty Bible. sure. It's in my app, <laughs> my nope. Bible app. Are you what? selling pamphlets or are you selling a Bible? Yeah. <laughs> Wait a minute. What religion is this Bible yeah, for? Is right. it the religion it's the, of it's knocking the new on dawn. doors? It's and the new dawn it's the religion. Is it Pinterest quotes Bible? Is, it the, <laughs> hmm. are, is this that religion where you play a little ding-dong ditch, if you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, uh, you certainly can, in my instance. I wish I wish the people in your church would have done a little more research before they decided uh, <laughs> what they were going to go with. Do you with. ever go to church, dear? Oh, of course I have to, or else Father Jack's going to be on my ass. Like, <laughs> well, like a fat boy on a Snickers. <laughs> <laughs> What's a Snickers? What, if he laughs? I mean, like a, a like fat a, boy laughing. Like that makes sense, I guess. I, I feel that the, the father might be able to help you more. Than, than we can on this boat. Looks I like mean, the father's helps her enough. No, no, the, the father, no one needs to know what's happening. Look, I'm open with you guys, but no one else in my life needs to know Maybe about this. Maybe you should be more happening. closed about it. I'm. What are you talking about? <laughs> no. What are you going to do? Go back to Los Angeles and tell them I have a baby? Lies. I'll write you right off. Look, I'm here for, I'm here for my, my well-being and no one else's. I, I'm pursuing my own path, and when I get back, I... I'll d deny everything. Sure. <laughs> that sure. sounds like a healthy way to go. <laughs> Church of Pinterest, you say? <laughs> the I Pinterest mean, church. It's that, been around look, for years. Here's one from Second Corinthians. When you've done everything you can do, that's when God will step in and do what you can do. Okay, that does Boy, sound like a real. I am interested. So, are you uh, saying passage. we're not going to Shanghai? I'm saying that we're, we're the boat's turning. You can't feel it. Everybody, do. Uh, <laughs> let's just do a uh, intelligence roll at the full, at the full amount. So you'll have your intelligence. Just try to get underneath that number. I All did right. not. <laughs> well, What'd that doesn't surprise me. I rolled a 96. All right. Wow. That's almost a critical fail. 10. Oh, you're right. Oh. 29. 61. I've got a 79 intelligence, too. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. 60, I rolled a 96. 61 under you're, intelligence. The problem is, is yeah. you've been drinking since 12. I, so. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> um, I've been, Hemingway's been drinking since 9. I um, roll, I roll the, the 29. Nine. I've, I, been, yeah. I was I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> I've been drinking as much as this guy was he's doing. I don't know. I've just been trying to keep um, up. I I, and I still rolled a 29 out of 40, uh, uh, below 46. The good so, news yeah. is I can hold my liquor with the best of them. I've, two. I've, I've been drunker than people. All I know is guys. that we is are on under? the water. It's um, under, yeah. Like any We're in a boat. Any under okay, is fine, great. but if you get like a, a ot one to an ot five, you, that's like a critical success. And then if you get any, oh, if you the, if you you can fail, and then you can critically fail. If you get like a, a hundred. hundred or whatever, then okay. things go really bad. All right, so. You guys do, you guys have noticed, uh, once she mentions it, that there's been a slow turn of the boat. Um, uh, and west or north or we're trying south. To go, we're trying to go east, so we're going south. Oh, no. Yeah, it's, it's more of a south. You've been going, or are we going west? You've been going east, east for three days towards. Uh, no, west. You've west. Been going west. West for three days uh, towards I mean. Hawaii, and then without the tea. And then you turn, and then you guys have slowly started to turn this last day. Could um, be the, could be some sort of disaster. Could be weather related. Could be that the pilot's dead. That was a lovely song. Yeah, the pilot's dead. Um, Rose, now that Not you mentioned pilot, it, pilot, uh, captain, captain. Is that what they call them on boats? Pilot, captain. Cap no, pilot it says inspector. captain. I believe. Captain and skipper. Skipper. The first mate. I'm just, that no, I'm just better. saying things. Yeah, you just randomly <laughs> Star Tourette's over there. Port. Nautical Aft. Tourette's. <laughs> Sail. Bird's nest. Rudder. <laughs> How long do we think we've been headed south? Should we do something about it? For about, um, for about the last day. Um, Shit. It's been a slow, <laughs> slow turn, though. It, it seems Rose, Rose goes, you know, I, it's, it's odd. I was going to talk to the captain, but the captain's not here tonight. Captain's usually here, and I, I don't understand why he's not. But anyway, I, I noticed this morning that 
the boat uh, started this this slow turn, and um, it's it's. I'm just wondering if we're avoiding a, a, a storm, like Hemingway is saying, or if we're we could uh, or go if down there's to some the, other disaster. Are we turning around? Go down around? to the steerage. Go down to the steerage and see what's. Uh, well, listen. Going does on. any do you know how to drive a boat? Do any of us know how to drive I've a boat? I've got a forty-six uh, on mechanical. No, but I repair. could sell. I could sell the shirt to you. Well, I'll be back. And I'd appreciate that if you would, but but the point <laughs> is, um, right. the captain knows how to how to drive the boat, and the rest of us are just here to follow that man over the hill till we die. Well, it might be worth. I don't think that that's a. I don't think that's a good idea. <laughs> I mean, I'm I'm here for vacation, not necessarily to. Go. I'm planning to die soon, but that doesn't mean I want to hasten things well, along. I'm I not th planning on dying anytime soon. I'm not planning. On, I'm not planning on dying. To be clear, I'd like to live for at least a couple more years. I trust in God, so why should I be afraid? <laughs> well, well, I, I would like to you. speak to the captain. I also uh, would like to speak to the captain. Let's go talk to this, uh, okay. or or maybe someone in the. Uh, uh, Crew who so might here's, really the, here's the people that you guys know from just being on the ship. Um, Captain uh, Hank uh, Trisdale is, uh, he's usually at these dinners. Can he be Trisdale way? Uh, if, if that's what you want to say. <laughs> go ahead. I mean, um, you can't stop her from saying that. <laughs> yeah, that's I mean, not his name. That's where you're going with it. They go for it. Um, uh, the captain uh, usually comes around. He says hello. He's, he's very approachable. He seems like a nice guy. Um, you guys also uh, know Dr. Rebecca Sutter. She's uh, German as well as Dr. Ziff. And um, they, you guys think there's some kind of relationship there. You have not Romantic. seen. Yes. Um, you have not seen Dr. Ziff uh, since the first day. Mm -hmm. um, he came out, he greeted people. He looked a little sick. He didn't look well. So, you, you, so a lot of people just figure he's staying in the cabin Why you guys are moving forward. Um, and then there's um, uh, Victor McDugan, who is the first mate. Um, he is not as approachable. He tends to stay away from the patient slash guests um, and um, uh, seems to have a little bit of a temper. Um, and then finally, um, there are several staff members uh, that will answer any questions that you have or help you, you know, uh, it, there are other doctors and things that, that, and people that will walk around and, and assist with patients. Most of the patients that you guys have seen are like yourselves who, you're there to relax, to uh, enjoy the sea air, um, you haven't seen anybody with uh, any serious mental conditions yet, um, so you believe that um, you guys are basically the only only patients. There's probably a hundred of you on board, and it's a it, but it's a relatively large vessel, you know. So it could probably hold uh, 300, 250. Um, so it's at from what you can see half capacity. Um, so, uh, you guys are on the top floor, the top two floors, the, the, um, the beds and everything are on the, the second floor, and then the, the top floor is basically where the um, uh, dining is and the bar. Um, there is ca a little casino where people play um, cards and all that good stuff. <coughs> so anyway, that gives you a basic overview of the boat. Um, if you would like to go to the captain's uh, quarters, has he been by yet? He hasn't been in the. He hasn't been there uh, since the um, the beginning of dinner. You haven't seen him. Maybe we should just wait for him. I think we should find a, find a crew member and ask him about any changes in the course. I'd rather. Because if it's something, if it's something just banal, you know, they'll be like, "Oh yeah, we changed to avoid this." But if there's something up, they might not tell us the whole story. I think we should talk to, while I think you're the natural leader of this group, <laughs> I also think we should uh, talk to someone more senior and not maybe alert. Uh, I don't think anyone uh, less. How would, <coughs> how would talking to someone more senior be less alerting to people? Less, no, they'll have more information. I don't, think, I don't think we need to talk to a crewmate. 
Well, got, someone who would do the, someone who's involved in actually changing the direction of the ship is what I mean. The only person that that's there tonight um, is Dr. Uh, Sutter. She's, she's the only one that's there. The captain, the captain is not there. Um, Dr. Ziff isn't there. Um, Victor isn't there. Victor isn't there. Uh, Shannon uh, Raitt is there. She is um, one of the, the crew members that she's kind of like uh, uh, the concierge. She helps with, you know, whatever you might need. Um, uh, she is. Let's ask her where the captain is. You want to talk to her? Okay. Yeah. So sure. you wave her over? Yeah. Shannon okay. right way. She goes, um, uh, can I help you? We were looking to have a chat with the captain. He's usually around these times. Uh, he is, I believe, um, not feeling well tonight. Oh, I, no. Oh, that's a shame. Something about he, uh, he had a, some minor head cold or something and didn't want to come down to the dining room and give anybody any of it. Listen, I, I, am, a, I am a doctor. I don't know if you were aware. Uh, yes, And sir. also, there's nothing that he could have that I couldn't possibly uh, benefit from. <laughs> so I would be happy to look at the captain and give him uh, some professional medical treatment uh, if he's truly in need uh, and feeling under the weather. Um, well, uh, give me a persuade or a fast talk. I'm not very good at either of those for some reason. <laughs> oh, no, I got 49 in Persuade. Exactly. Cool. Well, I rolled 59. Oh. She oh. goes, well, I, I'll let him know that you would, you would be glad to help him, uh, you know, but. <coughs> as much as he wants my help, <laughs> yeah. I will stop down and see him. <coughs> Um, <clears throat> whatever yes. he would like. <laughs> I, I understand what you're saying. Um, I'll let him know. <laughs> um, what's your, what's the concern though? Why, why? Oh, uh, it, 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 a couple of us have noticed that, uh, the sun usually set off the bow and, uh, now it's setting off of the, uh, the port. Well, port is the left hand side. It would be the starboard, starboard side. Yep. That's it. Setting oh. off the starboard side, it seems like we've taken sort of a southerly turn here. Oh, I, I didn't realize that. That's, um, we're well, traveled men of the world. <clears throat> I know what, man. Yes. <laughs> um, I'll ask about that uh, right away. I, I'll, f I'll find out what I can for you. Um, and what it is, it is. We'll deal with that. Right. Can uh, can you give me a uh, idea roll? It's basically your your intelligence roll. Okay, intelligence roll. Idea. Yep. Ding. Oh, wow. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> what did you roll? Critical fail. Double zeros. Holy you Jesus. You know, rolling a double zero on an idea roll at Doesn't this age, time. you know, you're lucky that we're not. Yeah, that could. Yeah, there's a, there's a worse time to roll. There's that. a worse time to do that. Hey, guys, I have an idea. I got an idea. Let's read this unholy text <laughs> and read the stars and cut ritual symbols into the palms of our hands. <laughs> so, um, it'd be fun. The thing is, I wouldn't need to Your roll that. Your idea is everyone takes a shit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm ready when you are. <laughs> Way ahead of you. <laughs> <laughs> How many more do you need? <laughs> so, at this point, um, what is there? Do you guys want to leave and go ask someone else, or do you want the night to go by and in the morning see if the captain's out in a boot? I think we should go, go asking around. Great. Yeah, the natural leader of this group. I follow you. <laughs> yeah. Let's what do go. you think? What's your idea? I'm going to keep doing what I've been doing. I'm just going to eat and drink while I follow you. All right. Yeah. So you have like a plate and a, you're like, <laughs> and, <trying> a, to, <laughs> yeah, well, and, and my, and my standard flask. Or do you just ask him to ground it up into the drink and just, it's one meal. If, if possible, um, I'd like handheld meat. Handheld yeah, meat. Yeah. Handheld meat. Whatever that option is. <laughs> whatever that means to you. <laughs> whatever whatever that means to you on this boat. Yep. <laughs> Headed to Shanghai. Ask the sailor for some handheld meat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys... Uh, they always keep giving me weird looks when I ask for that. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know why. I, I like they to think that my Bible is a magic eight ball. Have you heard of those? Toys? 
e even though I walk through the darkest valley, I will fear nothing, for you are with me, your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Yeah, That's they it. Do. So great, let's go. Yeah, he, you've certainly been comforted by a ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. All right. So you guys head up uh, out into the night air, um, and it's ah. uh, it's beautiful out. The, the stars are very bright. Um, the moon is uh, like shining singing. overhead, um, and uh, uh, you guys start heading towards the captain's. Uh, area his quarters and you uh you are looking back because for some reason you're kind of jittery mm -hmm. you look around a lot i yeah. would imagine yeah and you see somebody towards the back of the boat kind of uh do a quick thing behind, Step behind the, something. the wall yeah. as yeah. soon as they see you look back <clears throat> um oh it's so beautiful you know yeah. when you look at the stars and the moon up there you have to at least think that, you know, as tough as you? things as tough as things are, we haven't all been broken. I'm gonna, you know, I want to. I'm all just gonna stay turn out okay. staring at that at that piece at of wall at that point. Okay, and just for like another like minute or so, okay. I guess. So, but as you're walking away, um, I'm gonna if if they're if they're ahead of me, I'm just gonna kind of like pause and stop. Okay, you know. So um, you stare, and they keep walking, and sure enough, you see a head kind of come around the corner, and then they see you and, and duck back in behind the wall, and you hear footsteps running away. Um, I'm just gonna I'll just. I'll alert them. Just guys, somebody's over there, and I'm just gonna start so running. So he starts. He he's like maybe ten or twenty feet away from you, and he just goes, "What he says," yeah. and just books. What somebody's back behind that following. Corner? Somebody's somebody's watching us. Oh shit! And I'm gonna. You're trying gonna really hard ball. to keep your drink. <laughs> yeah. Well, the worst part is that I've got a turkey leg in one hand and a drink in the other, and I'm trying to think. It's if the this, Renaissance Fair cruise, <laughs> right? You know, if if it actually gets to shit, how am I gonna pull my pull my weapon? Okay. So you get around the corner. And That's a good, and I'm gonna get my your my gun, gun out. My gun. Okay. Yeah, out, but like, still okay. concealed. Yeah, you don't want to be waiting. I'm not just gonna like around. be like doing that. Right. But I'm gonna get it and my hand on it. Okay. Um, you guys get to the back of the the boat, and um, like I said, the the boat's pretty high up. It's there's, it's basically uh, three stories or three levels levels up, um, and then there's the you know, back towards the back. It's a it's an older steamboat that's been fitted <coughs> for medical purposes. And um, when you get to the back, you don't see anybody. But when you look off the the back of the ship, uh, you see that there's this swarm of um, oh no uh, sharks. Uh, you can see in the moonlight just that they're right at the top of the water what? and they're just following behind the boat. What? Uh, anybody, uh, anybody got any ideas about, about that? Uh, the, sh the sharks feeding? Smart animals, they're I know just, that. They seem to be following us. Right then, a, uh, if they're smart, they'll stick around. A large amount of some kind of liquid gets expelled from the back of the boat, and, uh, you see the sharks make a quick movement, and then they, they continue to follow the boat. There's, there's... But of course, it's not. Of it's nighttime, so you can't see. Right. You can only see. Do we know, know what is what rooms are? Below no, you us? know that the second floor is where you guys are staying. You've never gone. Oh my goodness. Lower than that. We need to examine the. Is everything okay here? Who's that? Um, it Who's is that? Shannon. She goes. What I? You guys were in the middle of dinner, and is there is there a problem? Oh, no. uh, I was concerned about the captain. I believe I mentioned that already. Um, yes, yes. That I'm a professional doctor, and so I thought I would offer my assistance. Well, that, that's very nice of you. Would you like me to take you to him to see if he's sure. available? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, sure. That'd be great. Yeah, yeah. That, that would be true. I, <coughs> I understand that he's got quite a Everybody give sickness. me a psychology role. Whoa. <laughs> Doc Holiday, you probably have horrible psychology. 34, thank you very much. That's not horrible. 10%. 10% as well. 99. Oh, that was 
That's pretty critical. 92. Yeah, that's nope. What is wrong with you people? 79. Damn it. 62. That was really close. Seems fine. Yeah. You yeah. guys continue to walk away. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Um, so you guys walk uh, with her. Um, you know what? Let's do that roll again, but this time I think that can I just can I just out, point out that do I don't advantage. Yeah, we're can I just point advantage. out that I do not trust her at all to begin with? Yeah. Okay. So because give, she's female. Oh come on. <laughs> I'm, listen, Ernest Hemingway was a horrible misogynist. Twenty-four. I think everybody I during this period exactly. was a, a horrible point. misogynist. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I have right a up until also ninety-two. Still didn't get it. <laughs> that was the break. That, <laughs> that was, was the year. breaking point. Um, twenty. Yeah, pretty good. So Rolling twins. Thirteen. There you go. Oh, still not good enough for me. Oh. Thirteen. Beat it by. T- we have a friend in, in chat from Denmark. Hello. Oh. Uh, hello, Denmark friend. What? D- Dom texted me and said to say hello to the friend in Denmark. Uh, Hi, Denmark. What? Uh, what? What town in Denmark? I wonder. He's he's been up for twenty four hours. By Whoa. The way, so. To oh, watch wow. us. To yeah. watch us. To watch us. What? Nice. Holy shit. That is amazing. That's really cool. That is really cool. Denmark. Denmark. Is it Denmark, Soren? Denmark. Denmark. Copenhagen. That is uh, a kid's name here. Yeah, let's see, get his name. So those of you who Next did, who passed their... I rolled their, a 20, uh, but I beat it by enough. 21 I points. I got a 10. All right, cool. Oh, nice. Um, she is... Uh, something's happened within the just the time that you left her till now she seems a bit shaken it's in your mind it's not so much that um she's nervous because of you guys but she's something has happened that um is making her give off this really uneasy vibe (coughs) you know (coughs) she may have discovered something about the captain Shannon, are you feeling all right? Uh, there, I know there's a, <laughs> yeah. a bug going around. I'm doing quite fine. I'm, I'm okay. Let me, we're almost there. Um, you seem a little kind of sweaty. Well, um, and it's like, it's beautiful out. It's really cool. She goes, well, um, you know, the job, the job's very tough. This is my first cruise and I didn't know how much work would be involved and um, and so I'm trying really hard to kind of keep up. Look, I've got something for you. <laughs> One second. If in the meantime, I've got something a lot more helpful. God, I'll give you a nip in the flask. There you go. If God is all you have, you have all you need. So. That's from the Church of Pinterest. <laughs> John 14, 8. Oh, okay. Take, have that. It's Backstash. sort of a loose translation. This is yeah. This church is very loose, if you know. <laughs> It's just a, I, it's just a bunch of there. different things just tacked on a pin board. <laughs> so uh, she walks up to the uh, captain, um, and uh, he comes to Hank, the door. get out here! The door kind of opens up a little bit, and Hank's standing there, um, and he goes, uh, can I help you? And uh, Captain you know, Hank. Uh, sorry, I, I, I'm not feeling very well, so you might want, i got to remember the mic, you might want to stay just a little bit away. Believe you me, you can't give me anything I don't already got. <laughs> I'm 77 years old, I've had it all at one time or another. If I haven't been forced to pop it, puncture it, or otherwise cut it off, maybe uh, sear it, well, I just ain't been living right, let's just put it that way. Well, um, man survived lead poisoning, I'd imagine. Oh, I'm yeah. sure. I'm sure after I I get a good night's rest, I I can meet with you. Oh well, I mean the thing is, you're already meeting with us now, so let's just get it over with. We but don't mean <laughs> we don't mean it's, to it's, bother you. We're just curious about the course change. The boat's going south. <laughs> um, there was just a little bit of weather that we needed to avoid. No. Um, I don't see any weather. That's why we're changing now, so we don't run into it. What are you talking about? Are you telling me you have some sort of mystical technological advice, uh, device that has not been invented yet that tells you what the weather is hundreds of miles away? Because I don't believe that. <laughs> Canonically, I cannot believe <laughs> that. All right, can I? I literally am in disbelief. <sighs> I, I'm a well-traveled man. Uh-huh. I appreciate what you're saying. Um, it, it sounds, it smells a little bit of bullshit. 
it's best if we, we talk about this at, a, at another time, maybe after I, I get some sleep and we're not, you know, it's not so late. And Explain to me in detail again why we're going south. Um, um, I can't right now. Do you understand? Oh, oh no. Oh, you don't like to talk shop in front of the women. I get it. <laughs> we'll come back later. <clears throat> well, maybe he Well, doesn't... I'm going to be honest with you. Oh, no. The turkey's starting to hit me. I'm getting tired. <laughs> The whiskey isn't helping. Does it have something to do with Dr. Ziff? You just give me a holler right um, now and tell me what's going on, or I'm going to sock you right in the jaw. Oh, he's ready. Um, he is a man of action. It's not pretty. <laughs> We've tried to stop him. It's, it's, it's not a good idea for us to talk right now out here. That's we can talk tomorrow. I'll tell you what, we'll come back in a few minutes. Everything sounds good. Appreciate you meeting with us. I'm kind of, he seems to be uh, kind of sincere there. I think maybe we should just come back tomorrow morning. We're going to wait until the morning and keep traveling seems south? Like, it seems like tomorrow morning might be, you know might be the, I don't the sleep. better time. I don't slink away from adventure. I'd like to hide out in your captain's quarters <laughs> and see what happens. You can't get pregnant twice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you can, but you have to deliver a baby in between each one. <laughs> Um, My mother did it six say, times. You, you know, with, God with, the, with, the, with the Bible salesman sitting in your room. You know, when I said can't get pregnant twice, I realize now why I've been yeah. having trouble with the women. <laughs> there you go. Have you heard the good word of the Church of Pinterest? Oh, oh I'd love to tell you more if you haven't. You probably um, haven't. Here we go. When, when exactly would be a, a when and where Look, would be a good time? Morning. Captain Hank, I've seen miracles just happen. Silent prayers get answered. Broken hearts become brand new. That's what faith can do. That's absolutely not a passage. <laughs> that, that's that's more of a lyric, I think. For yeah, some right. fitness yeah. song. It <laughs> does sound like a song. <laughs> this, is, this, is like, this app is out so of unreliable. Yeah. I'm going to read you a passage from the Bible. I believe the children are our future. <laughs> Teach them well. <laughs> <laughs> Let them lead the way. This is um, now really not a good time. I think tomorrow. All right, I'll go inside morning. and when, wait when, in the captain's When and where can we meet you tomorrow morning? Okay. So, I want to do it. You walk inside. Okay. You okay. push past him. Yes. Um, oh God. And there is a figure in the corner. Oh, oh there it is. Um, I knew there was something dangerous going uh, on. God. <laughs> God. <laughs> and it starts moving. What? Out of the uh, of the darkness. Oh my fucking god! Is that god. the guy that I saw? Um, no, it's not. Oh my god! Uh, is it a zombie? It's not. It's but okay. it's a guy. It's it's he. His eyes are rolled up in the back of his head. Oh shit! And he's got uh, he, his his mouth is just gaping open, and and all this sound is kind of just uh. flowing out of him. And uh, he's he's got his head up a little bit and um he has these odd markings on him now you're the only one that busted in so yeah. you're the only one that's seeing this oh. and the captain says you've got to go now uh make a sand check first for me you yeah. roll against your sanity yeah he's yeah. coming towards you relatively quickly all right i have a 30 and i save okay so you take one sanity point okay. that's that's just a quick Oh, you know, like I'm okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, free so, uh, the captain grabs you by the arms, and this thing lunges forward towards you. Okay. okay. Um, it is God who arms me with strength and makes my way perfect. Oh boy. And, and, and oh my God! <laughs> so that's what you hear as he throws you out, okay. and he th comes out of the thing and slams the door. And, and goes, he's outside. Yeah, he's outside. Down. He's, you guys have to get out of here. Just go back to your rooms. Pretend like nothing's wrong. Tomorrow morning, we'll deal with this. Is he this. on our side? Does he seem like he's on our side? I guess he did save me a little bit. What is that thing? Look, I can't get into that right now. Okay, okay, it's okay. dangerous here. Can you guys Shit. please? Guys, what I saw 
wasn't human. I mean, it might have been. It's but human. Not it's, it's just, look, I can't explain everything right now. I need your help, but I need you to go away. Yeah. Great. Let's go. I am done. That is, oh, that's a piece of shit in there. Let's go. I've got a baby. Now I've got a baby to protect. I'll run into the room. I don't care. I've got a baby. I'm running. <laughs> I'm, I'm run was gonna, away. I was going to hide and wait for whoever was going to meet him to come and see him later. Folks, thank you for tuning in to another episode of Saving Throw Live. <laughs> this is going to be our first episode of an actual campaign. No more one-shots. Oh, thank God. <laughs>